Hey everybody, look what I got here. As I said, uh, Babylon 5, I wanted to say Star Trek. Babylon 5 CCG cards. Alright, um, we have the first and second season. I have a third second, uh, third series, I think it is. Possibly the fourth on its way. But we're going to start today by opening up one box of the Babylon 5 CCG cards. Alright, um, so again, these here are the first series, and uh, these, the Shadow War, are the second. So we're not going to open up Shadow War today. I'm going to go ahead and place these boxes over here. And, oh, yeah, we'll just stack them right over here. And we're going to open up one box of Babylon 5 right now. And, you know, when Babylon 5 first came out, I was not very... I didn't like it very much. Um, it wasn't until I was in my 20s that I'm, like, sitting there after a graveyard shift and trying to fall asleep and watching an episode from Season 1 towards the end uh, or the last three quarters of the series uh, where they're time-traveling to Babylon 4. And I thought that was the coolest idea, and I had to watch a series. And so, Babylon 5 has been one of my favorite series, even though the CCG, or the computer graphics, um, the CG, there you go, uh, the computer graphics were just horrid. The models of Star Trek were so much better. But CC, uh, CG was cheaper at the time, and they did that. Um, it was a great story. Um, the first season is a little bit difficult. Uh, the commander, I liked him. I know some people don't. Uh, but, again, they were spending a lot of time, a lot of times they are introducing characters. Um, Commander Sinclair was a great character, um, as he progressed and he evolved. But, I kind of wonder if they had planned this whole changing the captain after first season. Um, all right, so we're go we have the box open. Let's get in here and get busy. All right, so this is one of the smaller packs that I've seen. Uh, normally, I've been opening up CCG for Star Trek, and I have some Terminator on the way. Um, but this is the only time I've seen. S it's so small. Ooh, it looks like there's some kind of unique special card. This is Ro Rogue Telepath. Um, again, I know nothing about these cards. Um, I've been able to find very little about them, and I will tell you I'm annoyed the cards bent a little bit, but you know, these are at least 20 years old. So, let's go ahead. So here, I think they were produced in 1994, or 5, right around that time period. Let me see if I can find something. Let's do something over here. Um, they're $1.95 when they came out. I see here. I may have overpaid for them. Um, again, I'm not entirely sure. So your eight cards. So there's eight cards a pack. 24 packs are in the box. So they're really small packs. It's not, again, I like to compare things to Magic the Gathering. It's really well known. Um, but yeah, I don't see a date right now. Let's go ahead and get into the box though. All right. Um, and those of you that know me, and I've been watching my impact videos. I like to pull them out and stack them. And I use scissors to open them because it really saves the cards. All right, before I start though, um, it looks like, oh, okay, oh cool, okay, this is cool. This is actually a list, a checklist of all the cards in the series. That is really cool. I've never come across that when open up packs. All, well, I've come across cards that were checklists, but never instructions like this. But okay, we're going to put this to the side right now. Uh, we'll probably look at this towards the end. Real quickly, it's my job to please remind you guys, if you like the videos I'm putting out, please subscribe. Also hit that thumbs up button as well. Um, not the thumbs down, thumbs up. And again, subscribe, hit it. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so... In all my videos, and I only had one, I opened up some really old Star Trek collector cards. 
again, they weren't C CCG cards, they were collector cards. Um, and I opened them up, and uh, I had... They were made of a different material, the packaging was. So it was really hard to get them out. And the cards were also square and not rounded. Um, this is probably when comic cards were really first getting popular, I think. Um, but it was difficult to get them out, plus the packaging also added to a difficulty level. So these are definitely, they're thinner cards, uh, the packages are, because there's only eight cards in a booster, uh, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, but we're going to see if I get everything, since I have a checklist. So I will do a checklist video, guys. Oh, it might mean I have to open up more video, more packs sooner than I thought. But no, no, we're gonna we're we're gonna take our time. That way you can really enjoy it. Um, we're gonna again only open up one uh, box this uh, this round. Um, and again, I like to cut them open with scissors. It saves the cards in there. You're not messing with the booster. Plus, at the end of cutting it, you still have a really nice booster. And I put the packs, the sleeves that came in, the packages back in the booster box that I got them from and kind of store them that way. And, but before cutting in the scissors, you want, cutting these, the card packs with scissors, you want to push them down and make sure you're not cutting into a card. Those of you that saw my collector's card things for Star Trek, the uh, comic, the cards, the collectible cards, not the CCG, um, there was one of my videos that I put out that just, it was horrible. The series cards for the old generations were cut so horribly. Um, uh, and I was just, I want to say embarrassed, um, but that's the wrong word. I was just depressed. I mean, here I get like, a DeForest Kelly or Captain Kirk card, and I'm so excited, but it's just a horribly cut card. And... And there's nobody to say I want my money back from. <laughs> Alright, um, but again, cutting these here really saves a card. Even if you have to open up the package from behind. Because I've opened up some Magic the Gathering packages. And it's like, oh my gosh. These boosters are just like the cards are really stuck in there. It's almost like they were trying to save material. But this is how I like to open them because I'm less likely to damage the card. All right. And the only time that was, has really changed is with those Star Trek uh, collectible cards that I opened up where the skins were really diff difficult. Uh, different, I should say. But yeah. All right, so again, I hope those of you that are Star Trek fans are also Babylon 5 fans. Again, I've never played the game, but I think I'm going to learn that after I've learned, and I'm going to teach everybody through the Star Trek CCG game. Um, if I, I will probably do the same thing with the Babylon 5 series, um, and do videos on that, because I like, I learn best with video and audio, but with cards, you really need the video there to assist through the process. And I wish I would have put my garbage can closer to me, and I forgot to do that. So we'll throw that there. Alright, so... Let's start with the very first package here. And you can see there's a lot of space so I can get them out of the package really quickly. And A, let's look at the package. That's a pretty cool package. I like it. It's shiny. And these are the cards. Those are pretty cool, cool cards, I think. B5. All right, flipping over here. So the first thing it looks like I got is Dalin. Um, and so that looks like it's a character card. Great council member. Worker class. No, that's not Delin. See, I can't spell the same in my life or read the same in my life. Um, but it's a character card. Um, older but wiser. Diplomatic aftermath. So, again, I don't know how these cards are played, and I don't really know how to stack them. Uh, diplomatic corpse. Um, I'm, so I'm kind of going to put the color with them. Uh, Don Randall. I don't remember him. I do remember that Star Trek, uh, sorry, Babylon 5 had some really bad actors in there that really was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that person. 
but the series was great. Um, Isolate, um, I really don't know how to, like, set the cards apart, kind of. Um, see here, tr uh, Assault Troops, Voleron, Vol Volon Embracement. So that's pretty cool. Personal Sacrifice. So, I don't even know which ones are my rare cards. Um, I can tell you that this card has no number under it. Neither does this one. So, these cards all have numbers underneath them. So, I have a theory that maybe that ha might have something to do with um, what group can use them. Or, uh, possibly... Um, there's a cost to cast a card, basically. Uh, cast it would be the uh, Magic the Gathering version. But right now, I'm going to put them, I think, in number order. Again, I don't know what I'm doing in the organization of this, because I know nothing about the game mechanics. Uh, that is something that I will learn. Um, but I think in some ways, the first step is opening up the boosters. And starting that learning process. So... I'm going to put this over here, get this out of the way a little bit. Um, let's see here. Put that there now. Um, I have no idea how to tell oh, which are my rares and which ones are not my rares. Um, but, oh, that was a cracker. All right, so let's go ahead. Okay, this is just freaking hilarious. Malari with his little action figure. Gotta love that smile, right? So, uh, now I have purple cards. And so now I kind of want to change what I just did. And I want to keep the same color cards, I think, with the same color cards. I have no idea what that means again. But that gives me three now. Four packs. Self-doubt. Okay. Seduction. I must admit, this lady was evil in the series. But she is so hot. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Diplomatic immunity. Alright, so we have event cards, it looks like. So, I, I'm probably going to change this up and put the event cards with the event cards at some point. Uh, but diplomatic immunity. Let's see here. I want to find character cards and ship cards. Um... I think I have found a few, few characters, but again, you want to find the characters you know. Agenda card. Um, Centauri fleet. Garrison. Garrison fleet. So, this could be some kind of ship card. Um, and so, I almost think what we kind of have, it, I don't know, let me not get into thinking about that yet. Uh, let's see here, Mimbari Agent. So, let's, oh, I don't know, it's so hard to figure out how to, how to stack these cards. Um, and I have no idea what my rare cards are. Um, all right, another event card, um, Concentrated in fort effort. Concentrated effort and event card. It's purple, so I'm gonna put the purple with the purple right now. Uh, this is contact with the shadows. War by popular degree. Degree. Um, a meditation card. I will say I like the cards because again we got Dolin here. Oh, it's draw two cards. That's pretty cool. Um, let's see, here. I want to say this is this is my rare card, but I'm not sure. It is a character card, uh, Centauri character, Lady La Dura Ladera. I remember her character, but I'm not sure. So, um, oh, there's two there's two cards there. So I, again, I have no idea how to stack these cards. Um, I have no clue because they're so different. Um, I'm, 
see here, we have character, character, these are character cards, these are character cards, um, okay, yeah, they have character in them, um, these are character enhancements, which, or facility enhancement, so I think they're going to be like enchantments, uh, so we'll put all the enhancements together, diplomatic, Aftermath, so I'm not entirely sure what those are. Uh, this is a fleet card. Event, so I definitely want to put all the events together. So event, 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 event. God, I must admit she's hot. Event, so are all of our events seem to be purple. And it looks like there's something like group, and they're fleet cards. And agent cards. So again, some of these I don't know what to do. So here's another group card. Oh, yep, group card. Um... So, Motivated Leaders, so I'll put that there, Centauri Group, so another group card, so again, I'm figuring out how this goes, and this is another Centauri Fleet card, Fleet card, Multiply, um, can only participate, so I'm leaving this other, reading this other card, Multiply can only participate in conflicted, in conflicts targeting you, um, Multiply. Um, okay, so these are fleet cards. Again, I'm learning as I go. I've never actually opened up a booster for this. So, okay. Utility fleet. This is a fleet card. Um, aftermath. Learning experience. So we, I've noticed aftermath cards. Aftermath, aftermath. So we have another set here. Aftermath cards. Group cards. And it looks like agenda cards. So uh, we have a Centauri character. Why are all these Centauri characters? No, I think I have a Mumbari character too. Uh, another group, multiple cadre. Cadre, okay. Um, group cards. So yes, you guys are learning as I'm learning. So character enhancement. So an, uh, like an enchantment card, I think. Um... Okay, this is a really funny scene. It's a funny scene. Developed relationships. <clears throat> it's an aftermath ca math card. I love that. Oh, I'm interested in this. Event card. Completing inter... Com competing inter... Well, you can read it. There you go. Uh, one of my problems with my reading abilities am not exactly the best, as you can see. So here we have a human character, human aid, um, but just a random human character right there. So I'm getting a sense of what I'm doing here. And we are halfway, I think, through the first stack here. So sanctions, here's an event. Um, we have another event, trade windfall. Another event, higher raiders, and another event, alter, avert, avert, avert incident. So I'm guessing this is well. I don't know. This could be a rare. I'm, I don't. I don't know. This is my second agenda card. So each character you control gains one diplomacy. Um. Counter every four points of Babylon 5's influence as one point. Okay, um, so this is agenda card and diplomacy. So let's look at my characters. I, I don't. So the characters have numbers alongside of them. So this is a neutral character, media character. See, a Mumbari fleet. So a fleet that's not Centauri, but Mumbari. And then first battle fleet, Grey ba Council fleet. So I'm pretty sure this would probably be a rare card. I'm going to put this just up here real quickly. Um, first battle fleet. It's a Mumbari fleet. Um, Alright, let's take a pause. And... 
we will just look this over real quickly. So it has with us a commons list and uncommons list. A rares and a fixed. I have no idea what the fixed is. Hmm. Um, the 10 major changes. Deluxe edition. Changes. All right. I'll probably go over this a little bit as I learn about it. But it looks like the, this is a rules. So, uh, commons, uncommons, rares, and fixed. I have no idea how to begin with for that, but it tells me more of what I'm looking for. So again, I'll look at that more later. All right, what do I have here? Love, so a Mimbari character. There we go. Put up the characters. We have War College, a group. Oh, this is a new one. It is a Narn character, but it's red. So they, I think they changed the character. Of the, I mean, some of the cards change color based upon the race they are. Combat experience in Aftermath card. Combat experience. Character enhancement. Security training. All right, Mimbari Aftermath. Ooh, this one looks cool. Wear and tear is this one, so let's put, put this with the Aftermath. So this one is called Wounded. Um, it, so it's also an Aftermath card. But, oh man. John looks mean. Sinclair. Aftermath, there we go. Alright, so military conflict. Now here's a problem is this this doesn't have any kind of allegiance or anything like that. So I don't even know where to put this. So we'll put it up here for right now. And we'll go to our next booster. So between now and my next Babylon 5 video, I will be able to give you more information because I will study up on it. So we have an event for my people, Delenn. Delenn was an awesome character. If you ever have heard me bash in my videos about how they replace female characters, or sorry, male characters with female characters, yeah, it pisses me off. Why not make a good female character and put that in there from the beginning? Stop replacing your characters. I love Delenn. Um, Universal... Universe Today feature. So... Uh, this is an event card, and this was the newspaper in the series. They had one episode when they did that. I think it was when we, the beginning of the first season, uh, beginning of the first second season. All right, lockdown, an event card. Um, probably the end of third season, or uh, probably fifth season. Uh, but it's an event card, strategy, strategic reassignment event card. Oh, and then this is probably good. The win. Uh, this is probably pretty cool. The wind swords, um, Mimbari group, human location. Okay, so this is my first location card, and I did read about hear about that like locations, um, from other games as well. So this is a location card. Um, again, I want to remind you guys if you guys like the videos and you like learning more about CCG card games video games that like the old school stuff and again i'm trying to get in the old school and bring them back out again um please subscribe um hit the thumbs up tell your friends share with people um because i'm going to get open up a lot of packs i have uh these packs that you've seen but i also have things like terminator and other stuff on their way so back into the cards um this is a conflict card i have not seen a con oh no this is my second conflict card Free the Souls is what that one is. And then a Narn Aid. This is a non-character. So put it over there. Um, I believe, again, they have, not alignments, um, uh, racial groups that you can play. So you, have, you can play your humans, your Narns. Um, um, Mimbari, uh, Centauri. And so on. Okay, so this is a non-aligned fleet. And it's a picture on Babylon 5, but it's probably the 
alien you see there. So again, this is going to be a fleet card. We're going to put it here. This is, I think, my first human, no, my second human character. I don't recall, remember her, but yeah. Um, extended Contacts. Um, this is a group card. Ah, a fleet, a human fleet. Utility fleet. So, Utility Fleet seems to be a popular uh, name or design of a car because I have a Centauri Utility Fleet and I have a Human Utility Fleet. So, that's again something that I've learned. Another Aftermath in the line of, of duty. And that looks like a White Star. Um, aftermath. There we go. An Aftermath. <laughs> this is hilarious. Focus. Focus your efforts. <laughs> Oh, yes. That was a great, great episode. She's yelling at everybody. All right, Aftermath. Um, let's see here. Um, facility enhancement. So apparently you can ha enhance your facilities. And I think I saw one for the fleets, but also your characters. All right, human fleet. Colony fleet. So another fleet for the humans. So it looks like we're not dealing with single ships. We're, looking for, we're dealing with fleets. And... I'll have to watch some videos on people playing. Okay, this is Psy Interrogation. So, uh, this is a conflict conflict card using a Psy. So, uh, not a Psy Cop, but a Mambari Psy, psy person. Uh, overworked. Enhancement card. Oh, gosh, conflict. Non-aggression pact. I'll tell you, if there's one of the character in there that irritated the living shit out of me, it was this guy. Diplomatic conflict. Oh my gosh, I really irritate. Oh yeah. Kind of makes me want to watch the series again. So I'm getting conflict cards. Um, a location in, uh, enchant uh, enhancement, I'm sorry. So for your location, I have a human location here already, uh, which is a transfer point to... No, transfer point... Transfer transfer point IO. Apparently, I can add some kind of enchantment to it or enhancement. So, again, I'm I mean that may not apply to that one, but okay. Diplomatic conflict here. Uh, we'll read this one. Target player who has an unrest of three or more. If successful, the target must discard one group of your choice. Interesting. So, another conflict. Esteemed extinction. Sanction. Put it with conflict. Another location enchant uh, enhancement. I want to say enchantment all the time. Um, salvage yard. And then victory in my grasp. Event. Um, it's a picture of a white star. I'll let you guys see that real closely. Um, but um, rotate your ambassador. Increase all your fleet military ranks by one for each de destiny mark your ambassador has for the rest of the turn. I, I, there's a lot there I don't understand. All right, but it gives me goals. All right, another eight cards. Okay, higher calling agenda. So, uh, that's when we start losing Garibaldi. So I think that's why it bothers me. But you your ball. Garibaldi never fully comes back. I think. All right, a diplomatic conflict with that moron in the picture again. Neutrality treaty. And let's take a pause real quickly to look at that again. So, law support. Okay, so, dip diplomatic conflict, neutrality treaty, non aggression pact. So, I just want to look at the titles a little bit. Um, Alright, another diplomatic conflict here. Um, companion for support. 
Uh, Centauri. Centauri Telepath. Centauri Character. Put that there. Mimbari Invent. Chrysalis. So that, I think, is cool. I want to say it's probably the rare, but again, I have no way of knowing. Um, so why don't we find out real quickly, which card is my rare? Um, let's go here real quickly. We're going to open this up to the rare section. Alright, we'll flip this over here. And this card was called Chrysalis. C-Y. Crusade. No Chrysalis. So, what we're going to do is that's not the rare. Ah, we can't see if it's uncommon. I bet it's uncommon. Chrysalis, there you go. So, but I want to see where my rares are. This here. Armed Resistance. Not this one. It's probably an uncommon. Yep, uncommon Armed Resistance. Event, okay. This is probably my rare. Not meant to be. Event. Let's look this up here. Um, where's the N? N, N, not meant to be. So my rare is my second to last, and that's, again, what I expected. So, we might as well put my, start putting my rares right there. Um, as well, Membari character. Um, Membari aid. That's probably a common card. Um, LM, Membari. Membari. Oh, nope. Um. Membari. Okay, so Membari Aid is a fixed. Card, which I have no idea what that means. So the last card of the group is the fixed card. The second to the last is going to be the rare card. And we'll see how many uncommons we get. So we're going to figure that out so we know. So let's go over to the commons. Put that there. All right, so this is an event. It's inter. Uh, let's see, I, I, I. Okay, so common card. Change of plans. Right there, common card. So first two. Knowledge of shadows event. Oh, I. Love to hate him, let's be honest with that. Knowledge of Shadows. Um, Knowledge of Shadows, common card. Fleets on the border. Fleets on the border. Um, trying to see here. Fleets on the border, here we go. All right, now what we're going to do, I think the next two will be my uncommon cards. And that's going to be Support of the Mighty. Support of the Mighty is an uncommon card. Third Battle Fleet. That is probably an uncommon card. Um, look for T, 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 T. Third Battle Fleet Membari. Uncommon card. Crusade. Okay. Crusade. Oh, got to flip this over. And I'm going to do this with two packs and two packs only. Um, there it is. Alright, so let's flip these rares over here. Alright. Um, Crusade. I'm pretty sure I saw it. Yep, Crusade is my rare card. And then United Front. United Front is my fixed card. 
I will have to learn to see what my fixed cards are or what that means. All right, so we have Court of Rebellious conflict card. That is my, so again, we're going to double, well, no. See here, one, two, three, four common cards. So I have a conflict card. So we're going to put that now with the conflict cards up there. We have a location card. Sorry, location uh, en en enhancement. I keep on wanting to say enchantment. A diplomatic conflict. Yeah, as remember sex in this episode? Yeah. I always have, this is one of the, I think, the only pot time I, I feel like I have to leave the room. It's so corny. All right, conflict. And so I think, okay, one more here, a conflict card. I really like him. Marcus is great. All right, here we have our uncommons. Well, let's start with our rares since we're all on that side. It's an aftermath public, um, P -P 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 -P, public apology. Um, we'll put that there and then Um, oh, looking in the wrong spot. So, Kana Fleet Narn. There we go. So this is my fixed card. I don't know what fix means, though. So these two are probably going to be the same as the four my uncommons. I will double check that. We have Stunned, Enhancement. I'm not seeing it. Oh, shun! I thought it was a T. Shun, 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 shun. It's in the fold. So that is my un, uh, uncommon. Followed by purge the disloyal. Um, purge the disloyal. Okay, so yeah. It is the same that way. And I figured it would be, but... So from now on, I'm going to put all my uncommons, sorry, my, my rares up here, and my fixed cards up here. So let's go ahead and take these uncommon cards, see, character card, and this is a uh, fleet enhancement. So we're going to put that there, we're going to put this in the, okay, let's take these, these are all commons, we'll put this in the event, and we need to pick up these cards. This is a fleet, fleet, another fleet card, an agenda card, and a conflict card. All right. So that was my last of that first stack. So again, I kind of like to stick these in the boost in the box themselves, and we'll do that in a little while. But let's go ahead and cut these open while we talk about these cards. So... Again, when I started these packs, I have no, had no idea what really to expect. Um, I wasn't expecting having that information there. I was actually trying to look online. How do you play the game? And sometimes it's hard to find information like that. Game rules. Um, <clears throat> so I'm hoping some of my other packs will have that as well. So, <clears throat> like the Terminator that I'm getting. But it's interesting that we have our character cards. I still don't recognize any real character. Um, you know, you want to have certain characters. And I'm not seeing the characters I want to see. Uh, in fact, this guy I recognize. Her I recognize. And I recognize him somewhat. The rest I don't care. And again, we as players really want to see our, ma our major crew. Um, and so again, at the end here, we are going to go through, um, the, uh, <clears throat> the checklist and see if we can find the characters that we want. One of the things I don't like about the characters is it doesn't have it in, like, in order. So I'm used to, like, events in one location, um, characters in another, um, <clears throat> uh, fleets in another, but only does the rare 
not rare thing. So, I guess each way has its ups and downs. But before I open up the next booster box, I will have more knowledge of the game. Probably won't know how to play it just yet, but we'll see. It depends on how what other videos I'm making. Because uh, I plan to do one for the Terminator coming up here soon as well. So we've already seen this conflict card, and I've told you I hate him. Uh, so we'll put that up there. One enhancement. We've seen that enhancement. Uh, Centauri agenda. So one of the things I looked out for is I don't want like the same card over and over again. Conflict here. Technological. Hmm. Uh, put that conflict there. Black mat mad market. Black market conflict. So this is my uncommon. An aftermath car, disinch enhancement. So aftermath, it looks like I can dis di disenhance something. So that's an aftermath. Event card, this is my rare card. Recall to service. Um, sometimes I get stuck on the picture. So this is a colon uh, Mumbari fleet, colony fleet. So. I'm interested in, know, interested in knowing what these cards mean. Okay, we got this one before. I, we've gotten this one before. I still like it. I'm get, beginning to need water. Self-doubt got in this one. Seduction got in this one. She's hot. And we've gotten this one. So this is like a duplicate pack of, oh, I think, exactly what I've gotten before. So, Garrison Fleet. All right. So... This is good to know. So again, I'm going to put my rare and uh, my... What is that called again? Oh. Fixed. So I'm seriously going to be looking up what the heck fixed means. My fixed card. So it's a character card. And I know I've seen that before. So my rare and my fixed I think are different. But I already got that fixed card. So I'm going to take my fixed cards and put them up here. Um, I'm kind of wondering if a fixed card is a really, really common card. And they're tricking us by putting them on the other side of uh, the rare card. So we've seen, we've seen this Growth of Chaos, this, this agenda. Um, fixed. So I think we have. So we have seen this one. Yep, there we go. Growth in Chaos. We've seen that one. So it's common. We've seen this thing before. Conflict. Rise in a rising power agenda. Character enhancement. Facility enhancement. And aftermath rescue. Uh, aftermath was here. So here's my rare. A facility enhancement, secondary control. Um, we have Delin, we have uh, Kosh. So that's my rare card. And this is early warning. So, event, this is my fixed card. Um, really curious what that fix means. After that, these packs, we're going to open up and uh, go through again the instructions. Um, event card, the, oh man, he was insane. Another event card, event card, but at least I'm getting cards I haven't seen before. Uh, event card, and then two uncommons. One's a group card, and one is, okay, Centauri character, Lord Rifa. I got myself a dickhead. Alright, we'll put them over here, the characters. Group, this is my rare card. Kosh, Narknark, I yeah, Kosh is what we know him by. Rare card, and this is my fixed card, Centauri Captain. Um, character, Centauri character. So <clears throat> again, we'll go through the rules before in this video on what that means, 
And if those of you guys are liking this game and you like the CCG thing, collectible cards, and you like the video games, the, even the board games I'm going to put up here, um, please let me know. Hit that thumbs up. And uh, please subscribe. And then share with your friends. So we have our commons, which is going to be event, 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 event. Um, our uncommons, we have a conflict card where my conflicts up here and then we have a neutral character card so she is just an uncommon card but i'm happy to get her um bluntly put i think she's always been hot but i just love seeing characters or people i know from this series in movies i like and although they didn't do much with her character because sinclair left it was good to see her in something new um, let's see here. Let's put this in the uncommons as a character. So, Heavy Fleet. Narn Fleet. I don't know why they're calling them fleets. I think it's, it's a heavy, sh heavy cruiser ship. I think they got lazy. But that's my rare card. We're going to put that up there. And then I have a Conflict Sabotage. That's my, um, fixed card. That's what it's called. All right. All right, we have a Narn character here. We have a neutral character. I think I've gotten her before. Mary Ann Kramer. Uh, it's common. Um, we have a u utility fleet. Common. Oh, oh, oh. Um, Centauri character. I don't... Um, God, what is the man that she marries? Um, Veer. Veer was married to her. And my gosh, they chose like the hottest woman to shave bald. That looked great bald. But she was so freaking evil. And racist. Hey, oh, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, she's racist. She's stupid. Watch a series. Alright, so this is an uncommon card, character card. Uh, but I am excited to get that card because I recognize her. Uh, diplomatic conflict is my uncommon. So, conflict up here. Facility enhancement here. So this is my rare card. Volon Rescue event card. That, I must admit, I think that's cool. This, I think, is a little bit cooler. Because it's telepathic scan. Psy conflict. And ladies and gentlemen, we all know Chekhov was an awesome character. And he made an excellent character. I'm, I'm just, uh... I just wish they could have sold Season 6 and really gone somewhere with the Psyche Police. And really bought, bought his character in. But it was probably expensive to bring in. So... Um... I always love watching characters I recognize, especially those in Star Trek that I really love. Babylon 5. I'll watch things just because they're in them. That's one of them. All right. Lack of... Okay. Event card. Another event card. Another event card. Who are you, event? Episode 1. Oh, sorry. Season 1. Any player who wishes... Wrote rotates his ambassador interesting each ambassador who rotates gains a volon mark a volon gains plus one influence for each mark taken interesting again that's going to be getting into game rules so let's look at our two uncommons we have a group secret police my gosh i i feel like the there's so much in the Babylon 5 series you can compare today. You guys should watch it again and compare it to the crap that's going on in the U.S. today. All right, um, Centauri location. So this is a planetary location. I like this. It's my second location. Um, but it's a common card, uncommon card. Okay. Dude, guys, check this out. Sinclair. Sheraton. So I'm messing up the name. Why am I doing that? John Sheraton. I have John Sheraton. 
I'm trying to think. The only character that I think that would equal this is Delet. And maybe Kosh. Oh, uh, Garibaldi too. We love Garibaldi. All right, this is my rare card. This is my special card. I love it. I'm putting it up there. I have for my fixed card a Narn Captain. I don't know what fixed means though. Oh, but I got some Sinclair. That's good. I'm excited about that. Okay. So, again, Human Agent. So, we'll put this in the Agent cards. A Conflict card, common. Another Conflict card, common. A character Enhancement. It's a Weapon card. Um, aftermath card. Character Enhancement. Okay, so this is, in, this is the two Lovebirds. And it really shows. And it, the, the episode is designed to show... The character of the uh, the race of the Centauri and how they are, but also the character of Malari. And so that was really cool. Um, so Lost um, Path of Sins. Um, oh, Aftermath. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, the the Nara are going to kill him something bad. Alright, so that's my rare. Here's my fixed war hero. And I really liked him. And especially when he's with... Oh, I wish I had that card. I knew where that card was. Um, when he makes secret plans with Delenn. But Delenn does not come out. Oh, I don't know where it is. Aftermath. Let's check Aftermath and then I'm going to go on to my... I have three boosters left, ladies and gentlemen. Um, oh, I don't know where it is. This is one of the things about opening up a booster. You don't understand. I'm in the learning process. You guys are in the learning process. Let's learn together. So this is my fixed card. We'll learn what fixed is, by the way. All right. Okay, common event. But I must say, I really like the art in the shadow vessel there. Um, interesting. Um, I can't say really art because technically I'm pretty sure they've taken these scenes from the series. Another event here. Um, uh, let's see here. Merchandising. Oh, Merchandising Babylon 5. Funny episode. Alright, and then what the heck is this? Um, Secret Volon Aid. Oh, yes, okay. That's when they're hiding somebody in the Volon ship, and I can't recall who they're hiding offhand. Uh, last time I was watching, I was only halfway Paul and paying attention. So, all right, hate crimes. Dude, I'm sick and tired of our entire nation calling hate crimes that are not hate crimes. Watch a series, learn what a hate crime is. Apparently, we have to actually, we can't pay attention to the news, we have to watch the actual good TV from the 90s, to actually figure this crap out. Alright, hate crime. Conflict. Human character. Senator. I don't recall her. <gasps> ooh, 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 ooh. Exciting, exciting. Oh, I rate break this right up to Jonathan Sinclair. Uh, Sheridan. Jeez, why do I have Sinclair on the mind? Bester. Alright, human character. That is cool. Alright. Picket Fleet? Human Fleet. I like that Bester. God, he is so annoying. Man. In the series. Okay, this makes me want to open another booster box. But we're not going to. Layton Telepath. Character Enhancement. So, I kind of like the cards. I don't know what they do. I'm not reading them. Because I, I, it's going to take too long. Uh, this is already, I feel like, taking a while. We're going on almost an hour. So, guys, I hope it's exciting. My next booster pack, as I figure things out, it will not take as long. Um, muddying the Water. Human Conflict. Um, agent. Oh, sorry. Agenda. Temptation. Conflict. Man, I love to hate him. Conflict card. Enrage. Aftermath card. Uh, 
I have know a girl. She really she finds them super annoying, but she 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 finds a lot of things annoying. Aftermath. Um. All right. Let's see here. It's an aftermath. Oh yeah, aftermath. Card. Okay, so my rare here is going to be a location card. Sleeping. Zahadum. Sleeping Zahadum. So that is pretty cool. Oh, rare card goes up here, the rare stuff. And a fixed card. Centauri location, Ragish 3 from like the first couple episodes. Probably the first episode, actually. All right. So we are getting two more boosters left, guys. We're getting through with this. All right, here are my commons. Rally to the cause. Um, strafing run. Mortal. Quindar, um, let's see here, in Chaos, we've seen that, I think. My Uncommons, me Meddling with Others, it's an Agenda. Let's see here, um, Non-Aligned Fleet Card, my Rare is a Group Card this time. It's Government Opposition. It's a Group Card. So, here is... Uh, my fixed card, it's a character enhancement prophecy. Must be spoken by an by a, a seer targeting character again gains a destiny marker and a doom marker. So there's some kind of markers involved in this game. Um, all right, last booster for this. Then we're going to go and look at one, uh, this like some special rare card or something. And then we're going to look at the checklist and all the, all the stuff that's there. So you guys know what you'll get when you get a booster of this fully. So, loss of face. I really like Shakar. And I'm so sad that he died. His character, his, the actor did. I would have loved to see more Babylon 5 stuff. Aftermath, Mimbari Fleet. Um, conflict card, another conflict card, Crisis of Self. I never cared too much for the Doctor. I liked him, but um, it was just hard to get really into him. And he was too like, do no harm. I'm, yeah, which I did like about his character in certain aspects. All right, so that was my uncommon. This uncommon uh, as well. This is my rare forced impairment. Uh, Conflict, Delin, and Sheridan. Alright, so we'll put that in my rare. Human Captain. So this is a fixed card. Um, I don't even recognize him. That's one of my problems with it. So, I can recognize some of the other pictures. Um, Alright, so that was my last booster for this pack. So we're going to go through and go... Not through the cards again, we're going to be over here real soon, but um, I love putting my booster wrappings back in my booster box. And again, there are only two stacks in here, only eight cards of booster. If you guys like what you're seeing, please subscribe. Give that thumbs up. I know it's taken a while, but those of you interested, it's a small booster box. I want to say I bought it for 10 bucks on eBay. Go for it. Um, so we're going to put this to the side, and we're going to first look at this card. Um, this is some specialized cards in its own little wrapping, so I'm going to put it with my rare cards. Uh, but I want to open it before we... I know Magic the Gathering does this kind of thing. Um, none of the CCG cards... For Star Trek, the uh, CCG have done this before, so. Um, this is Rogue Telepath, I said at the beginning. I don't remember the picture or the woman in the picture, but it's a neutral character. I'm going to put this with my rare cards up here. And I'm going to stack my conflict cards. Again, I don't even know what the stats are in this game yet, but let's go through this real quick. And I might even do a video just on this. So for this video, 
Yeah, okay, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to do a video just on this so people can find it easier. Alright, guys. Um, no, yeah. Hmm, I can't decide. So I'm going to do a video cut, and I'm going to do it both. And I'm going to make this available in both. So I'm going to do the video now. So, right now, when you open this up, you have a list here. Let me find the cut list. The, the front area. So when you open up, it has a list here. It's, it's uh, in the booster box that we opened. Um, so every booster box, I'm guessing it has one of these. And it has a list of checklists for your common cards and your uncommon cards. And when you turn the page this way, you'll also find rare cards. And then there's a series of cards called fixed cards. I have no clue what that is right now. Um... Hopefully, we'll kind of figure out as we go. So, I'm going to look on this side. Common. So, these look like rules based upon the kinds of cards, like the in Aftermath cards, the character cards, the agenda cards. But I think the rules begin on this side. So, Babylon 5 CCG Deluxe Edition changes for the from the Premier Edition. So, this is not the Premier Edition. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, I thought it was. So I'll find that out. We'll figure out what Premier Edition is, actually. Um, the 10 major changes. John Sheridan. John Sheridan may replace Jefferson Seclair. All right, we have Psy Attack. And I recognize that some of these cards I've gotten. I've gotten John Sheridan. Lover. I got that. Maintain Peace. I don't know that. Dis Effect. Just the effect, I did not get that higher calling. I got that card. As it was meant to be, I think I got that card. Side taxi, seizure. Uh, sleeping Zaha Doom. I got that card. So these apparently changes in the cards. Um, and then there's notes at the bottom. So let's go ahead and look this way. Art changes. So I guess there are some art changes. Um, disc. Card aftermath, discarded aftermath. The following aftermaths add the line discard this aftermath after play to the end of their effect text. Okay, so that's for the aftermath cards. And so now we have event locations. So here. So, Deluxe Edition Comprehensive List of Altered Text. Okay, so this is like an altered text instead of rules. And so that might really complicate the game, just like Star Trek CCG. I'm not sure, but again, there's Crisis of Self. Okay, so I almost think this is compared to the first edition. I'm going to have to look this up again. Um, and figure out what things are here. Um, so, this is just exchange and changes to the cards, it looks like. So, to Aftermath, Agendas, Characters, and then... Events over here, Fleets, Groups, Locations, Conflicts, you know, characters. So it looks like characters go to conflicts, enhancements, and events. That's interesting. Okay, so again, I'm going to have to learn more about the rules. Um, and this more tells me about the changes in the cards from the first edition. Uh, again, I thought this was first edition. Um, I'm not sure. So. Um, yeah, guys, I'll have more information for you on my next, uh, my next deboxing, um, or when I, uh, when I organize these cards, we'll see what that is. I do not know at this point because there's a lot here for me to take in and learn, but I highly recommend, I am excited from the cards I see. Again, I got a, I got two really kick-ass cards, John Sheridan and Bester. Um, other characters are really not characters I recognize. I mean, I recognize, like, I recognize her. I kind of recognize her. I recognize her. I really, so I like her. 
that's a good one. I got Lord Reefer, that's pretty cool. Centauri Telepath. Um, but again, this this telepath really it's a it's didn't give a name. So I kinda like name cards. This card apparently has some changes to it. Um, I recognize this dude. Her and him sort of. But yeah, I, I do want to open up more boosters right now, but I want to find out more about the game. So guys, I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe. Please give me that thumbs up, and I'll catch you all later. All right, bye.